This is a 41 NBC AccuWeather update. Well, we are breaking into your programming once again for another tornado warning. This is the tornado that we were watching uh, back just about 15 minutes ago. This is now moving into Dodge County as a confirmed tornado. So this tornado warning goes for Dodge, Pulaski and Wilcox County and does include the city of Eastman. So we now have some confirmation on here uh, as far as a tornado debris signature from this system. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. You can see where that blue is right there, uh, right along that county line for Pulaski. So this is about to cross over. It looks like uh, over areas of 87 and 230 right now. That is where we are seeing that confirmation of some damage that has been lofted in the air. So just out to the east of 129, this has passed the Finlayson area and where we're seeing this uh, is right kind of in between all of these counties. So areas of Southern Pulaski County, this is where we have uh, that tightening rotation. It's been very fast that that tightened up, but now we have confirmation of a tornado that is going to be crossing over areas of 230 right now. So you need to be in your safe place. That's going to be putting as many walls between you and the tornado as possible on the lowest level. This is a dangerous storm. Like I said, we have confirmation of damage with this storm right now, and that uh, rotation is continuing to get stronger as that moves into Dodge County. So Wilcox, Dodge County, you guys uh, need to be staying in your safe place, but also right in Pulaski where we're seeing that really wrapping up. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get a little bit closer in on this where we're seeing some of that rotation. We're going to see this cross near County Road 95, uh, Studstill Road, Rocky Springs Road. Now this is Rocky Springs Road in Pulaski County. We're going to see that uh, make its way further off to the north and to the east very quickly. Eastman, you guys need to be in your safe place right now. Like we were seeing, uh, this has really kind of increased with its intensity as that's pushed just the last couple of radar scans. So this is something that we're going to have to watch very closely. Go ahead and put a tracker on this one. Let's see. Just so we can see this uh, making its way further off to the east. So this is moving to the north and to the east. Uh, this is going to be near County Line Church around 710. So that's right about now. Um, Mount Annis Church, Dodge County Hospital by 723. This gives you um, a good 10-minute lead on this. Eastman, 723 there as well. So like we said, 10-minute lead. This is time to get the kids. It's time to get the pets. Gather everybody. Put them in the safe place. Be that your interior closet. Uh, be that in your bathroom. Just somewhere that does not have any windows on the lowest level of the floor that you can get onto. Um, and even try and cover up. Cover up your head with any Thing just because this is moving very quickly and like I said a confirmed tornado moving into Dodge County we've still got that debris that is currently lofted so we'll go ahead and take this back a couple scans just to see where we started to get that uh, lofting up in the air a little bit you see it was really just that last one so uh, this is continuing to move through southern Pulaski County that's going to make its way into Dodge County. So this is really where we need to keep our eyes on things as this pushes into parts of Dodge County. I also want to note that if you're going to try and get out there to try and see this storm, you won't be able to. There's so much rain that's out ahead of this. There's really not even much in the way of an inflow, but uh, still impressive that we are getting some of this circulation out here right now. So we'll check um, our latest velocity scan. Like we said, this is really kind of tightening up a little bit as this crosses over. So from areas of Wilcox County into areas of Dodge County, we are seeing Maybe just a little bit of weakening on that scan, which is what you like to see. But, uh, but like we said, a confirmed tornado. This is headed towards the Eastman area into Dodge County. That's where we've got that circulation pushing right now. And also um, a confirmed tornado that did have some debris in it. So we could potentially see some damage from areas of Wilcox County and Pulaski County near the 129 area but really looked like it started picking things up just to the east of 129. So uh, this is all out to the east of Finlayson. I know that you guys were under the last tornado warning, but uh, this new one is for a confirmed tornado. Uh, so that one is, is the one that we're seeing this tornado debris signature with as that continues to work its way into Dodge County. So I know a lot of this is rural. However, Eastman is not. So uh, if you live just out to the west of Eastman, you guys need to be getting in your safe place right now. There's 
also a lot of lightning with this system as well. So just uh, try and get into the interior of your home. Like I said, don't be out on the porch trying to stand out and try and see this system because I know a lot of us try, but first of all, it's dark. Second of all, this is going to be a rain wrap tornado. And third of all, this is a confirmed tornado. So you really don't want to be outside where you can get hit with any kind of debris. You want to be inside in that safe place uh, and maybe even just like take your phone to to your safe place to your closet wherever you're going um, just so you can stay up to date with these warnings because not only are we going to see the circulation moving in to the rest of Dodge County we've also got very heavy rain that's going to be moving in as well so just go ahead um, situate yourself a little bit closer to the safe place um, we're also starting to see a couple of these little circulations kind of outside of it so some very gusty winds at least um, but maybe a little bit of broad rotation there as well. We'll go ahead and check out some of these wind speeds. So we're looking at uh, 60 mile per hour winds likely with some of these. A little bit of this is starting to break down, so we'll see, see how this kind of goes. But this has been a weird storm kind of since it popped up. So you take a look at it, it's starting to wrap up a little bit more uh, as far as a way that's not necessarily conducive for better rotation. Um, but we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning that has been issued. So let's check that one out. This is for Dodge, Lawrence, uh, Montgomery, Telfair, Trutland, Wheeler, and Wilcox County. So we're just going to, I guess, do all of them in this one. Go ahead and show you this latest severe thunderstorm warning that does include the area where we have our tornado warning as well. So uh, this severe thunderstorm warning goes until 8 p.m., so that's going to be pretty much the next 45 minutes. This is probably going to actually kind of take us through the tornado watch window for most of us. But this is for, like we said, Dodge, Lawrence, Telfair, and Wheeler counties. So this is going to be for 60 mile per hour wind gust expected with this. Um, it is moving to the east around 55 miles per hour. And this also has the tornado possible tag. And we've been talking about that uh, for most of the day. It's what the National Weather Service is now doing when it's maybe not a definite tornado like we are seeing with these tornado warnings for right now, like we have currently on that storm in Dodge County that's moving towards Eastman. So uh, a lot going on with this um, as far as this storm is concerned. We could even see a little bit of hail with that. So we're actually going to go back. Um, we do need to check out the hail on some of these back here because that was a problem just uh, just a little bit earlier. We'll see if there's any any hail still out here. So Southern Dodge County, uh, not only are you guys dealing with that tornado warning for parts of Dodge County, but we've also got some areas of a good bit of hail where we're seeing this blue dot. Let's see. It's probably uh, probably getting up to some pretty decent sized hail, almost an inch in diameter right there, uh, just north of Rhine for parts of Southern Dodge County, just to the northeast of Abbeville. So another reason to go inside at this point because uh, being outside is just not going to do you any good. You want to take shelter this evening as these storms come through. We do still have the tornado watch and we also do still have this active tornado warning. So this storm, uh, like we said, has had a confirmed tornado with it. We have seen the tornado debris signature. We'll go ahead and check that out uh, right now. Still kind of seeing some stuff uh, maybe a little bit looser on that last one. Uh, but we'll go ahead and kind of take this back so you can see how that crosses over uh, right about here. So we get that to cross into far southern Pulaski County and then it crosses into Dodge County as it kind of loosens up a little bit, which is a good indicator that we are losing some of that tighter rotation. So that's what you want to see. Um, we are still, however, seeing a few areas of some broad rotation out in front of it. So this area right here, just kind of something that we're having to watch pretty closely uh, down here as well is where we saw the original rotation. And like I said, that's looking a little bit more broad, but with this storm, we've already seen it kind of fire up one round and then it loses its rotation and then it fires up back again. It looks a little bit better right there on this uh, current radar scan that we just got. So you still need to be in your safe place uh, if you are in the path of this thunderstorm, this tornado warned storm. Um, they're continuing our severe thunderstorm warning. So we are going to see that uh, really just kind of continuing through around 8 p.m. So that's the latest from the National Weather Service. Lots going on there. Um, if you're just joining us, first of all, I am very sorry about interrupting Judge Judy, but uh, we are seeing a tornado warning with a confirmed tornado 
moving into Dodge County. So uh, it does look like we are seeing a little bit of relief from some of that rotation. However, um, like we were talking about before, Boundary Week Echo region, where you start to see this kind of in the middle of the little donut area where we're losing some of that reflectivity, that's where we could be seeing a little bit more rotation starting to kind of kind of move in. So uh, we are seeing the potential for, it looks like severe hail now for some parts of the area. That's going to be, let's see, in this severe thunderstorm warning. So we're looking at hail of 1.75 inches, golf ball size hail possible in this storm. We're now, things are escalating quickly. I was telling you that's what we were looking at, that very large hail. That is just the latest scan. So uh, you definitely want to be inside, not around this golf ball size hail. This is going to be north of Rhine in Dodge County. Where you see these blues, that is very large hail. Um, this is going to be heading towards uh, Milan Eastman Road along 165 and 117. If you are in this area, you need to be inside. And I feel sorry for your car at this point because we are looking at a potential golf ball size hail in the storm. 1.3 inches from our radar estimated site right here. I'll go even a little bit closer in on this. And once again, uh, we do have a tornado warning as well, but this one is, is also considerable damage pro possible near Jim Ross Road area. Like we said, highway 117. Um, you're looking near the Lewis Harris Road area. Um, yeah, just uh, just some serious damage possible with this very large hail that's going to be in southern portions of Dodge County, headed generally towards the Chauncey area, headed generally towards Milan. Be ready for that. That is considerable damage that will be possible. Um, so now we are watching another potential circulation. Uh, we were kind of pointing it out a little bit earlier. So uh, just to the southwest of Eastman, we now see maybe some circulation near the Chauncey area. Lots going on in this one Dodge County storm. So we'll go ahead and take a look at our latest kind of TDS. So maybe down here, this is where we're seeing a little pop in some colors right here. Let's go ahead and take that back to our velocity product just so we can kind of double check. So it would be uh, down here just to the south of 87. That's going to push to the north along with this whole system. It's also where we're seeing some of that larger hail. So uh, circulation right about here. If you are on 87, uh, just to the south of Eastman, you need to be finding a safe place to go. Maybe pulling over, going into a gas station um, because you don't want to be on the road right now. This is going to be a serious situation. Like I said, we have some confirmation of some debris on this one already. So it's going to be lagging just a little bit behind where that actual circulation is from our from our radar picture just because that's how it's going to pick the things up. So this is a look at things that aren't rain, that aren't hail. That's what the radar is picking up and it's kind of just pointing out, hey, this is a weird thing that I picked up and this is where we're seeing that potential for some debris out there. It's also what we were seeing uh, in southern parts of Pulaski County. But this is all in Dodge County. Once again, uh, this is our latest look. I'll go ahead and get in a little bit closer at where we're seeing some of this. So. Um, once again, we're looking at around 117. Um, in between 117 and 87 right now is really going to be where we're seeing this damage. So uh, Milan Eastman Road, once again, that correlates a lot with where we're seeing some of that large hail potentially as well. That's about to cross over uh, the Milan Eastman Road area as well. So uh, regardless, you need to be in your safe place at this point. 1.1 inch size hail, and that's probably being a little bit conservative on this. Uh, this, head, this is heading towards the Chauncey area. If you are in Chauncey, uh, go inside. This is very dangerous situation with this large hail, even though it does look like it's coming down a little bit. Still one inch hail is very large hail. We were looking at golf ball size hail, ping pong ball size hail now um, is really kind of what we're dealing with. So if you are in Southern Dodge County, if you're in Chauncey, if you're in Rhine, you need to be in the safe place away from windows because this kind of hail can do some serious damage out there. Once again, we're not only dealing with hail, we've got our tornado warning that uh, I believe is continuing. Let's see. Um, so we do still have the tornado warning. That includes Eastman. Uh, so it's just kind of around the area where we are seeing some of that circulation right now. Uh, if you are getting the warnings, you should be in your safe place because we are seeing all kinds of stuff. So uh, new potential rotations, like I said, uh, just outside of Chauncey this evening with this system, but where we were seeing that TDS, that tornado debris signature, 
that's just to the south of Eastman. So I believe that's actually technically just outside of our severe or our tornado warning with this one. Um, but it's definitely something that we are going to have to watch as that moves to the east. So Godwinsville, Chauncey, you need to be on the ready right now as this storm makes its way through. We're going to take another look at it as its actual reflectivity. So uh, still lots going on. Eastman, you guys are probably kind of in the thick of it right now as far as this heavy rain and this wraparound is concerned. Uh, this is where we are actually seeing uh, that little bit of bounded weak echo region, like we were saying. So that's where we're seeing that potential for uh, a little bit of spin out there right now as well. But once again, it's going to be this Milan Chauncey area where we are seeing that best potential for considerable damage from some large hail. We'll go ahead and take it back to our hail tracker because that's really a, it's really going to be something interesting to see as this gets closer to the Chauncey area. So uh, we're starting to see that dark blue come back on here again. That was where we were seeing the golf ball size hail um, a little bit earlier. So like I said, Milan Chauncey Road where we're watching, Milan Eastman Road. This is, this is where in between there where we're seeing the potential for some very large hail. So that's about one inch hail from that one. But uh, the National Weather Service put on here the tag of considerable damage. So that's when you know that they're, they're getting pretty serious about that uh, considerable damage tag from our thunderstorm threat. Once again, the tornado possible tag uh, is also on there as we have our tornado warning. So I believe that tornado warning goes until 730. Let me get back to that. Lots going on, uh, mostly mostly to say that Dodge County, you should be in your safe place. We have seen a uh, confirmed tornado report from our uh, debris signature already from this tornado warning. And now we're also seeing considerable damage possible from large hail out there tonight, which wasn't even really one of our major threats uh, based on what we were seeing a little bit earlier. So if you are just joining us, busy night tonight. Like I said, um, sorry you missed Judge Judy. Um, tornado warning goes until 730. So we've got about five more minutes on that one. We'll see if they start to extend that a little bit further off to the east in two areas uh, further into Dodge County and then into Lawrence County. So that'll be uh, that'll be the next kind of decision that gets made. But if you are uh, further out to the west, don't worry about that one. It's really going to be more about this next uh, severe thunderstorm warning that I'll go ahead and give you the larger look at because that's where we're seeing uh, that potentially very dangerous hail up to golf ball sized hail. So a considerable damage. Also, if you're going to be outside, that's going to be considerable considerable damage to your person. Um, but the severe thunderstorm warning goes until 8 p.m. So that's for Dodge, Montgomery, Telfair, and Wheeler County. It does include Abbeville, Alamo, Eastman, McRae. You guys are all part of this severe thunderstorm warning right now. Um, I will go ahead and say, though, that uh, the good news for the rest of us is that most of us are starting to be kind of done with our severe threat. So you can see where this line is right now. If you are on this side of that line, you are done. That includes Macon, it includes Warder Robbins, Perry. We are done with our severe threat. It's just going to be about everything that's pushing towards Dublin, Trutland, uh, into areas of Telfair County for tonight. So that's what we're, be we're going to be watching for the next little bit. Let's go ahead and check back with our velocity product uh, as this system moves a little bit closer. So still seeing um, some pretty broad rotation moving pretty much right over Eastman right now. Uh, it's, it's hard to say whether we've actually got anything down on the ground anymore, but we'll look at our, uh, our CC to see if we have any kind of a tornado debris signature left on this one. It doesn't look like we have anything really definitive, um, which is actually some great news considering how we were seeing things before. So uh, that's good. We were seeing, like I said, we had seen a confirmed tornado on there from our tornado debris signature. But now, Chauncey, you guys are continuing to see that hail moving into your area. So not only do we have hail, because part of what comes with hail typically is going to be your lightning. So it's a very electric storm. We've had the large, dangerous hail pushing through parts of Dodge County and into Chauncey. Uh, and now that is starting to weaken a little bit. So we're going to take the good news where we can find it out there for tonight. You can see we've got some of these grays out here as our colors still looking at around uh, 
three quarters of an inch diameter hail, that's still gonna be pretty large, still pretty sizable out there. Um, and just considering how long we have had this track. So um, I'll go ahead and kind of take the wider look at this just so you can see how this hail threat really evolved. It was, it was pretty fast once it crossed over uh, pretty much Abbeville and then Dodge County, you guys just, uh, just had the juice right there, I guess, to get all of this hail so large, but we are seeing uh, right over Chauncey kind of another spike in that hail. So that's gonna be uh, near Jaybird, String, Jaybird Springs um, and in between there and Chauncey is where we're seeing some of this large hail now starting to develop. So Jaybird Springs Road, uh, you guys need to be inside away from the windows because we have got some damaging hail possible right now, just under an inch of once again, this is radar estimated, so very possible we could actually be seeing uh, some larger hail than that. This is sampling uh, relatively high in the atmosphere, so it's going to be something uh, that we'll have to just see when, when people eventually make it outside. So we'll go ahead and get back to our look right here. We've still got that wrapping up. That was kind of the signal a little bit earlier that we could see some of that rotation with this, uh, this wrapping up. But we are also seeing the heavy rain the, the hail threat with this uh, and continuing to see the lightning. But we are going to keep that tornado warning going. So you're probably going to miss the second episode of Judge Judy just based on this newest tornado warning that we have that is embedded in the severe thunderstorm warning. So uh, Eastman, you guys still going for about another minute. I'll go ahead and highlight where we're seeing this latest tornado warning. So this one goes until 8 p.m. So like I said, yeah, we're, we're going to miss the next Judge Judy. So that's just kind of where we are right now. Uh, this goes until 8 p.m. Dodge County, Montgomery County, Telfair, and Wheeler counties for this evening is where we're going to see uh, this potential circulation moving over right now. So uh, not only is this a tornado warning, this is a warning for a tornado and half dollar sized hail. Now we have gone back to our radar indicated rotation with this one. We're not seeing uh, the tornado debris signature anymore, but we're kind of going off some wishy-washy uh, rotation on it. So we'll go ahead and kind of put this back on our velocity product. You can see that everything's been, been very quick to kind of drop today if it was going to drop. So uh, that's where we have to really kind of keep an eye on things. We've got a couple different areas that we'll need to be watching for some potential rotation. So we got this right here over in kind of, I don't even know what you call it, the elbow of Dodge County. I, I don't know what we're going to call that one right there. But uh, just to the northwest of McCray, we've got a little bit of rotation there. That's not what this is focusing on. This is focusing more on that broad rotation that's coming out of Eastman and the Chauncey area. And once again, this is not the only kind of life-threatening situation. We've also got that large hail. So, And, and yes, I do call the hail life-threatening. Considerable damage to person and property is really going to be kind of what we're watching. This is moving out of Chauncey. Like we said, the Jaybird Springs area, you guys probably going to see uh, some pretty large hail and into the Accord area. Uh, McRae, maybe it scoots just to the north of you, but it's going to be a pretty close one out there. So... This is, uh, let's see, tornado warning. Yeah, we're back to radar indicated. Um, it is moving east at around 50 miles per hour. Um, so we could see that, that new tornado development in the front notch. So that is something that we're watching pretty closely. Uh, I will go ahead and also say that uh, if you have any reports of damage, if this system has already kind of passed you by, uh, feel free to send that to weather at 41 NBC. Uh, you can send it to my Facebook page. Uh, I'll respond to you when I am not uh, actively on TV. So the last parts that we really have of this severe weather system currently moving through, I'll actually go ahead and put on our Dublin camera, see if I can see anything out there, try and move this one around. Cause right now nothing happening in Dublin, but it will be relatively soon. So we'll go ahead and kind of move this further to the south. Um, I don't know, Andrew, if we can pull up the camera at all, maybe in a second box. Let's see, trying to get it facing a little bit further to the south. But right now, like I said, um, currently nothing going on in Dublin. So we're gonna try and put this camera to where we can see a little bit of what's going on further south. I think I can see a little bit of the lightning, like I said, a very electric storm. So uh, we'll try and get that put up in 
this box over here. Meanwhile, we're gonna get back to kind of what we've got going on. So um, essentially, what we've got right now, a, a kind of classic tornado signature. It's, it's really just kind of this comma head right here where we are going to see the potential for some inflow. You got this inflow notch right here. That's something that we're watching pretty closely. Um, all of that to say that's not the only problem with what we have going on for right now. Uh, we're also going to continue to see that potential for some large hail. So this is a look on our 41 sky view right now. So this is from downtown Dublin. I've got it facing generally to the south. And this is picking up a good bit of lightning so far. We're really not able to see a whole lot. And that's kind of going to be the theme, like I said, if you try and get out and see anything, you're not going to because it's all just rain out ahead of that comma head. So that's really, uh, really going to be a pretty nasty situation as these storms start to roll through. But uh, we're going to start to see this making its way through parts of Wheeler and Telfair County in the next little bit. I'll go ahead and kind of close up on this. Um, and once again, this is an active tornado warning. So you need to be in your safe place if you're in the path. That's pretty much always going to be on the lowest level of your home, or at least the lowest level that you can get to, and putting as many walls between you and the potential tornado as possible. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just kind of extend this out further off to the east. Um, so we're going to see this near the Eric area, 736, Alamo, 740, Glenwood, 747, Mount Vernon, by around 753. So this thing is really moving. And that is both good news and bad news, but you have plenty of time to go ahead and move to that safe place if you are in areas of Wheeler County, also parts of Trutland County. You guys are still within this tornado warning. Uh, if you're in Dodge County, you should already be in your safe place because we have been in this tornado warning for quite a while. That being said, uh, if you're in Eastman, now is probably an okay time to try and come out. You guys, uh, it looks like, are on the other side of this, so some good news there. However, we are uh, continuing to see that potential for this rotation. So we're actually going to go back to uh, where we have our velocity right here and see if we've got anything going on. Otherwise, uh, right now it looks like it is still going to be strong winds. It's still going to be some pretty broad rotation with this system in general. If there was an area maybe to try and like pick, I would say probably closer to the Chauncey area where we could see some of the gustier winds. Uh, at the moment, but also out ahead of this, like we were looking, you've already got some of those reds and greens touching out ahead, so that's kind of along the main line. I'll actually go ahead and put on our reflectivity so you can see where that heaviest rain is, um, and also throw this on right here. Just so you can see, we've got some pretty bright colors out there. That's going to be your gustiest winds. We're looking at 60 mile per hour wind gusts possible with any of these, maybe 70 miles per hour um, in some spots, which is why we have the severe thunderstorm warning. But also, like we said, uh, the damaging hail threat is still going to be out there. So we are starting to see a little bit of that uh, coming down, at least as far as our radar view is concerned. Still possibility for um, some nickel-sized hail, even ping-pong ball-sized hail possible in this. But it does look like it is coming down a little bit each scan, which is really that's what you like to see. So we are continuing to see that. However, a very electric storm. Um, most of this is going to continue to push further off to the east. So very quickly, like I said, 50 mile per hour winds are, are no joke. And so traveling at 50 miles per hour for these storms uh, should be getting them out of here relatively quickly. Let's put on our velocity and take a look across the rest of middle Georgia because uh, not everywhere is necessarily done. That does include uh, Lawrence County area where we're watching those storms starting to move in. And they're kind of in a weird place, the weird kink in the line. So we're just going to get a little bit closer, see if we've got any kind of rotation. But right now, not seeing much. It does look like uh, everything's pretty quiet at the moment. Switch to our storm relative. Uh, just kind of seeing what we got out here. National Weather Service continuing to update for us. So let's see. Tornado watch has been canceled for parts of middle Georgia. We'll go up to that in just a second. Uh, the rest of the area continuing until 9 p.m. So I'll go ahead and take you back to our tornado watch. Check that out. A lot of us now out of this tornado watch. It's still going until 9 p.m. for all of those counties in red. Those are the ones we're currently tracking, so that makes sense. 
but we are going to get back to this right now. An active tornado warning. Uh, like we said, you can see how this has all really evolved. This one piece right here really kind of jutting out ahead of the rest, and that's where we've been seeing circulation as well as a confirmed tornado when this was moving uh, through parts of Pulaski County. So we are not done with our threat yet. Like I said, tornado warning continues. However, uh, places like Eastman, you guys are, are done. You are out of it. You are on the other side of this line. So you can go back to resting. And we're going to keep this, however, going until around 8 p.m. because we're starting to see more of this kind of breakup. So once again, this is the donut in the radar. This is where we could be seeing uh, some of that rotation right now pushing from what I guess I'm from now on calling the elbow of Dodge County. If you've got a better name for it, feel free to find me on Twitter um, and tell me, but keep it PG. Uh, we are seeing heavy rain out ahead of this, and let's take a look at our velocity product. So uh, still seeing some, some little kinks in the line. I would say this is where we're starting to see that line uh, moving through, and that's where we could see a little bit of rotation kind of just building itself back in, but otherwise uh, just kind of some very broad rotation along the line, which... I would rather see that than, than a tight couplet like we had been seeing. We'll also go ahead and check um, to see if we have anything on the tornado debris signature. Uh, so, so far, so good as this moves into parts of Southern Lawrence County as far as anything being, being picked up. So, let's see. National Weather Service uh, continuing to see potential for some weakening. We got uh, much lower, low-level moisture. So, that is really kind of what we want to see. Um, is these storms moving into an environment that's a little bit less hospitable for uh, what we were seeing a little bit earlier today because we did see a good bit of damage, uh, including some, some large tornadoes for parts of North Georgia, including the Griffin area. They saw considerable damage, um, seeing a lot of that from earlier today. But right now, one active tornado warning. It does look like uh, most of Dodge County, so pretty much from here out to our west, that's where we're gonna be given the all clear. You guys are done. Now it's still gonna be lightning, it's still gonna be heavy rain, um, but as far as that hail threat we were seeing before, as far as the tornado threat, that is done for you guys. This is now pushed into parts of Lawrence County where we are seeing some of the heaviest rain. However, most of the lightning is down in parts of Wheeler and Telfair County. So. Lots going on uh, for this evening. If you are just joining us, uh, we do have a tornado watch that goes until 9 p.m. for all of those highlighted counties. If you're not in the highlighted counties, then you are done with your severe weather threat for tonight. Um, and I am sorry that I'm on your TV, but we have a few more counties to get through before we are done with our entire severe weather threat. Um, and this system is moving out pretty quickly. But with this system, we have already seen the potential for some very large hail. So uh, life-threatening hail, considerable damage possible with golf ball-sized hail. Uh, we're also seeing a good bit of lightning, heavy rain, and we have already seen some confirmed tornadoes out there uh, for today. So we are trying to keep you updated but like I said, as far as our rotation is concerned, it's really kind of lightened up. So Alamo area, maybe maybe some broad rotation over you. McRae is where we're seeing some of the gustiest winds right now. So 45 miles per hour, potentially up to 60 miles per hour with some of these as they start to move further off to the east. Like we were talking about with the hail, we got to check in on that one, but not seeing those those bright blues like we were seeing before, which is a good sign. However, if you are McRae, uh, very possible that you could see some penny or nickel sized hail out there. Uh, around a half inch size is still uh, still pretty considerable, especially if it's hitting your car. So McRae, you guys uh, should be in the safe place, uh, not trying to get out and move the car because it is too late for that now. However, if you are out in front of this in areas of Wheeler County, you probably still got a little bit of time to try and get out there, but uh, but let's take a look. We are seeing uh, this system moving relatively quickly. Like I said, around 50 miles per hour. We'll put a tracker back on this one again. It is probably gonna make its way through southern portions of Trutland County. So I'm talking about you guys, Soperton, as this moves through uh, Glenwood area by around 746, Mount Vernon by around 751, Ailey by 753. So this thing is trucking. It is moving out very quickly, um, which like I said, is some great news, but you still need to be in your safe place if you are in areas of Lawrence County within this warning. Also, uh, parts of Wheeler and Telfair County within this warning. So it's not everybody in the entire county, although Wheeler County, you guys are getting 
pretty close. Uh, we are getting some reports in from the National Weather Service uh, that the EMA director in Dodge County saying multiple trees and power lines down on Highway 87. So that's where we were talking about uh, earlier. We were tracking that further off in areas of Dodge County. So we have the, the confirmed with that, but uh, it does look like we are going to be seeing a tornado warning. Let's see, canceling for Dodge, Lawrence, Telfair, and Trutland County. So we have that canceled for parts of Lawrence County. Um, now we are seeing the latest tornado warning. This is going to be, like I said, moving very quickly. So we'll go ahead and highlight this last area. But hopefully after this, we should be mostly done with our severe threats. So the latest tornado warning, areas of Wheeler County, you guys need to be in your safe place if you are within this little warning box. Um, also in Montgomery County, although technically we don't cover Montgomery County, but this goes until 8 p.m. So we've got about 17 more minutes on this one. So once again, I'm sorry if you were here for Judge Judy. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's got a snappy comeback for somebody, but right now you need to be in your safe place as this moves through at around 50 miles per hour. Not only is this a tornado warning, once again, we're talking about considerable hail damage possible with this because we have half dollar sized hail as well. This system is going to continue to make its way off at around 50 miles per hour. And I'll check in with the National Weather Service once again, because we've got a lot going on over here. So. Once again, tornado warning. So, a uh, thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado located, located over Alamo, moving east at 50 miles per hour. So, we'll zoom in a little bit closer uh, to where we are currently seeing this warning. And we will put a tracker on it for you. So we are going to see this moving towards the Glenwood area by 747, Mount Vernon by around 752, uh, McGregor by around 758. So uh, honestly, very quick movement coming in from this. Uh, we also just got the latest from the Weather Service on them shortening that little severe thunderstorm warning. So still for areas of Lawrence County, also parts of Wheeler and Telford, it's really just going to be about this comma head bow right here that we've been watching as it made its way pretty much across middle Georgia. So as this makes its final little gasp across parts of Wheeler and Telfair County and into potentially southern portions of Trutland County, we're going to see our severe threat ending really quickly. And that is some good news because it has been a long day for a lot of people. I know a lot of people have storm anxiety. I am one of you. I promise I am one of you. Um, and I just want to make it as easy as possible for you guys. But do you know that we are going to still consider this area in the yellow a tornado possible tag? So it's not out of the question that we could see a spin up tornado coming from any of this as well. So just be in your safe place. Head, head just someplace away from the windows right now. I will go ahead and say that this particular storm that we've got in this comma head has already exhibited some tornadoes. So we already have confirmation of damage for parts of uh, Dodge County that we were tracking. We also saw it on our radar picture. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at what the National Weather Service says. So um, still more, more damage reports from a little bit earlier right now, continuing these two warnings. So uh, we'll get back to some of the stuff we were looking at before. Once again, the hail, um, half dollar size hail going to be possible with this storm that's moving through Alamo area. Um, this is going to be making its way, like we said, around 50 miles per hour. So that's a pretty fast system moving towards Glenwood, moving towards Mount Vernon. Should probably be there in the next uh, 15 minutes or so. We can put the tracker back on once we get back out here. So yeah, this thing is moving. Alamo, it's pretty much through your area right now. Um, as this kind of pushes off to the east, we'll start to see more of just a light rain behind it. Staying pretty gusty though, and that's really gonna be kind of a big deal as we are heading into tomorrow. So uh, where we've got our tornado warning, a very broad type of rotation out here. You can see that uh, most of that is just to the north of Alamo. So moving towards Mount Vernon, this is really where I would say to kind of hunker down. Um, but you also probably don't want to be outside in Alamo because that's where we're seeing some of the hail base. So I know it's it's kind of conflicting, but just stay inside. That's, that's all we're asking you to do is stay inside, uh, get in probably the center of your house. Hopefully you're on that lowest level at this point um, because that's where you're going to be the safest as these storms come through. 
This is moving quickly though. So, so we continue to see that get a little bit closer and a little bit closer. Heaviest rain right now uh, moving through the Glenwood area, probably also the gustiest winds moving towards Mount Vernon and moving out of parts of Wheeler County. We do still have the severe thunderstorm warning, though, um, that is in parts of Lawrence County. So, uh, David, if we could actually put up that Lawrence County camera, I might even have to scoot that one around just because of how that heavy rain is going to come in uh, for right now. So if we could get that double box. I will note that we got that little notch trying to come in right there along I-16. So it's something that we're watching. Uh, it's not specifically warned right now, but it's definitely something that we are keeping an eye on. So hopefully we can get that... Uh, Lawrence County camera up for us in a second. Uh, probably seeing a good bit of rain fall out here. I'll even move that one around so we can get a little bit of a better view as to what's going on because you guys have been dry all day. So now, now you're getting in on the act here in Lawrence County. So let's turn this around. So this is generally kind of facing it towards where areas of Wheeler and Telfair County are. We've got some of that heavy rain that's starting to move in. Uh, not as much in the lightning here in Lawrence County quite yet, but I do think that we could see a little bit more of that uh, as we're heading into the next probably 10 or 15 minutes or so because that's when this system's really going to start to move in. We're probably going to see some pretty gusty winds in a little bit as well, but everything Everything looking fine at the moment, even where we've got that little bit of a notch going on. So we'll go ahead and kind of take this down further to the south, because like I said, we got to keep an eye on all this squirrely stuff down in parts of Wheeler County. So you can see Alamo, some pretty gusty winds right now, um, but some very broad rotation generally setting up. So we are getting from the National Weather Service a strong thunderstorm, talking about northeastern Lawrence, uh, southeastern Washington, and Johnson County. So this is for 40 mile per hour winds, frequent cloud to ground lightning, and heavy rain. So that's what that's what I was talking about. This is what we're getting ready for to push into parts of Dublin right now. It's not enough to necessarily get a severe thunderstorm warning on it, but it is going to be a little bit rough there in just a, just a couple of minutes. We're already starting to see that rain increasing so it should be a little bit heavier in just a few minutes as this starts to push through if you're just joining us the reason that i am on instead of judge judy is this tornado warning that is pushing through parts of wheeler county we've also got a severe thunderstorm warning for that area as well so we're going to go ahead and highlight that for you um, we do still have a tornado watch issued for parts of middle georgia but not everywhere so this is our tornado warning. It's got about 10 more minutes on it, and that's probably, honestly, as long as it's going to still be in parts of Wheeler County because it is moving. It's taking a lot of the lightning with it. Not only that, we were seeing the potential for some half-dollar-sized hail in this storm. So you wanted to be out of the way of this. This was Glenwood. This is Mount Vernon. This is where you need to be taking shelter. You don't want to be out on the roads in this. It's going to be really rough. Um, so the tornado warning and the severe thunderstorm warning combine and that's where we're seeing all of this kind of working its way for for ourselves together so this is moving out we will go ahead and take another check on that hail because once again that's really kind of kind of a big deal out there for tonight not seeing much of an indicator anymore of the hail so hopefully all of this is really starting to weaken as it pushes off to the east and we're really starting to see a lot of this broad rotation pushing out that way as well all of this is good news um, because, like I said, we've already had reports of damage from parts of middle Georgia, especially Dodge County, where uh, the emergency manager has said that we've got some trees down already. I'll go ahead and see if I can find that again uh, from our storm report. So, yeah, trees and power lines down along Highway 87 and Edna Moore Road, um, also 87 and 117. So, like I said, that was where we were tracking this earlier, and, and that was a confirmed tornado. So, we gotta got to give these storms their respect, even as they're moving out, even as they're starting to weaken a little bit, um, because nature does not care. So, we got the heavy rain moving through parts of Lawrence County. Um, David, if we could throw up... Our Dublin camera again, it should be uh, probably a little bit heavier rain there now. Yeah, yeah, I would say I would not want to uh, 
be out driving in some of that right now, but it's not nearly as bad as, as what we were seeing in some spots. Uh, lightning is really starting to show up though, um, and this system is really starting to move out of Wheeler County. So the heaviest rain right now is going to be just to the south of Glenwood, uh, moving towards the Mount Vernon area. A lot of lightning with this, um, but Alamo, you guys are, are almost done. So once this moves out, it's just going to be rain. It's not going to be nearly as much as what we were seeing before. And I imagine that uh, the weather service is going to allow us to cancel that tornado watch probably a little bit earlier, considering uh, that it's just now almost 8 o'clock and we're really not seeing a ton of development back here. There's this one tornado warned storm uh, down in parts of South Georgia. So we'll have to see what happens with that one over the next maybe hour or so as that crosses I-75. But uh, even with the National Weather Service saying that a lot of these storms are moving into an area that's a little bit less hospitable, which is what we like to see as far as uh, tornadoes are concerned. So we're going to keep an eye on this last little comma head storm as it moves into areas of Trutland County. Expect to see the gusty winds, expect to see the heavy rain, but we're not seeing as much of the hail threat as we were before, which is uh, great news. Uh, once again, if you have any reports of that, feel free to send those our way. Um, once it's safe, obviously, uh, you don't want to be out there in the gusty winds or the lightning like we're seeing on that camera right now. So not much uh, to report as far as the hail is concerned, which is great. As far as our velocity signature is concerned, we are still seeing some very broad rotation. I would say if we got anything going on, it's probably going to be uh, up in that far corner of Wheeler County where you can see uh, kind of pushing in maybe towards towards parts of Trutland County, but this is still very broad. Uh, not seeing much in the way of anything kind of confirmed at the moment. So we're doing pretty good as this moves out, but this tornado warning does continue for the next five minutes or so. Um, so it's something that we're, we're still keeping an eye on. But like I said, uh, as far as, as seeing anything with this, it does look like we are getting some good news as this starts to push out. Even, even kind of the, the strongest lightning is moving now out of parts of Wheeler County. We're, however, going to stay on with you uh, until these storms are expired as far as their warnings are concerned. But uh, it's all really looking like good news from this end. However, uh, if you're in it, if you're in Dublin, you guys probably see in that heavy rain, those gusty winds moving in right now. Uh, we're really just kind of getting the reports in from those earlier storms in Spalding County where Griffin, they saw considerable damage out there for today. Uh, so if you have friends up there, uh, definitely be sure to check in on them because they saw quite a storm moving through. So uh, lots going on as far as this is concerned, but... For us, we're just kind of at the end of this. So uh, heavy rain for parts of Trutland County. Once again, we're seeing a lot of this moving out, though. We'll, we'll even go ahead and put the tracker on it for you uh, as far as where this is going. But it does look like they'll probably allow this to expire in the next five minutes because it's almost even out of the polygon. So uh, this is headed towards Vidalia uh, by around 808 Mount Vernon 756 so that's the next uh, next minute or so um, but like I said we haven't seen a whole lot in the way of really definitive rotation so we are going to just kind of keep an eye on that um, as it moves into Trutland County but otherwise most of us are doing pretty well. Uh, we are going to keep an eye, like I said, on the storms moving through Dublin because you do see just a little bit of a notch out there. There's just enough uh, to where we've seen it a little bit squirrely today. So we're just going to keep a pretty close eye on it. But, but a good bit of lightning moving through Dublin right now. Um, and otherwise, just to kind of take it out even more broad, a lot of us are done with the rain, with the storms, and with any kind of severe threat. Uh, so... Pretty much everybody down here into the south, you guys are going to continue to see just a couple more threats for some strong storms, probably the next hour, 30 minutes or so. Um, otherwise, the rest of us are done. Here in Macon, we're done with the rain. Up in Forsyth, you're done with the rain. Warner Robins, you're almost done with the rain, but you're still dealing with it for right now. So uh, just, just keep on holding on. We are almost there as these storms start to move out. But that tornado warning at the moment continues for the next four minutes and that's going to be moving out of wheeler county into areas of montgomery county so um, we will be going off at that point because uh, we do not technically cover montgomery county so i do expect to see this uh expired for us in a little bit 
Okay. Yeah, so nothing from the weather service quite yet. We'll check on this severe thunderstorm warning right here. This one does go until eight. So both of these um, should be done in the next couple of minutes or so. Uh, we are still going to see the potential with any storms out there tonight, though, for some 40 mile per hour wind gust, as well as the potential um, for maybe a spin up. But right now it looks like we are, we're doing pretty good with getting these things out of areas of greater instability. Um, and we'll just start to see more of that stability kind of building back in. A lot of it's about where we're still seeing some lightning, um, and most of that's going to be staying a little bit further to our south. So uh, down south of Abbeville, we got a couple of those stronger storms, but I really, I really don't think that these ones down to the south of Albany are going to be much of an issue for us. So we're going to keep an eye on it. Like I said, going to be here for tonight. I brought my dinner, so we're going to track that. But I do think that most of us should be pretty much done uh, with this as it goes through. We've got one more hour after this on our tornado watch for all of those counties that are included right there. Um, and we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning that has been issued for parts of Wheeler County. So we're gonna go ahead, um, take a look at this one real quick. All right, so this is the latest one. It's just for this one far corner of Wheeler County as we are heading into the eight o'clock hour now. Uh, this is a tornado possible tag. If you're just joining us today, um, it's, it's what the National Weather Service does when it's not necessarily a tornado warning. You don't wanna be on the tornado warning for maybe you know 30 minutes or so, but you could see the potential for a spin up. You've got maybe just enough of that rotation to go on. So tornado possible is issued in some of these severe thunderstorm warnings. I'll go ahead and highlight this one for you. Um, because it does look like a lot of these are going to be expired um, at the 8 o'clock hour. So this goes until 8.45. Um, whoop, we'll take that back off. So 8.45 um, for Emanuel, Montgomery, Tombs, and parts of Wheeler County. So just this part right here of Wheeler County that's still in that strong thunderstorm, um, that's where we're going to see the potential for... Uh, 60 mile per hour wind gust with this. Let's see. Yeah, 60 mile per hour wind gust, tornado possible tag with this one. Um, hail doesn't look like it's going to be nearly as much of a, a problem there. So um, it's just going to be those far southeastern counties that we're really going to see uh, continuing with this. So we'll go ahead, um, do a last check. Just kind of the last little bit. So this is a look out in Dublin once again. Uh, this is where we're seeing some heavy rain, some gusty winds. But otherwise, um, it's below severe criteria, which is what we love to hear on a day like today. Tornado watch is continuing for all these counties in red until 9 p.m. However, um, I imagine that they're probably going to expire that maybe a little bit um, earlier. We're also gonna see that tornado warning expiring. So some good news there, all of this coming in from the National Weather Service, um, as well as that new severe thunderstorm warning. So all of this is good news. Uh, most of us are going to be in the clear, but we're still watching just a couple of these areas for a little bit of potential rotation. So it's gonna be pretty much Wheeler, Telfair, and into areas of Wilcox County where we're watching maybe just a couple more storms. But we're almost done and it's eight o'clock and I will let you get to your shows now, but I do promise I will break in if we have another tornado warning.